conventionally, the reclaim algorithm uses uh, inactive activities. And the, in MJ Lab, the idea is that we have uh, multiple generations so we can have more uh, accurate, uh, uh, control over the eviction and aging. One of the issues that uh, we have seen uh, or some clients have reported is that MJLIU can uh, sometimes lead to a situation where you have uh, only one kill. So, your own kills, you need at least to have a stages to reclaim. This, uh, this issue really came up because of So how the values differ from conventional value, we only have uh, inactive active and anonymous list. In MJ value, we have also uh, uh, we also have a uh, separate value for each uh, so it's the the way it works is there are two pointers, uh, we can say. One is uh, the max sequence which points to the youngest generation. This always stays in, in step. Uh, and the, the main pointers are the mean sequence. So they can advance, uh, they can advance separately to allow the most far different. Uh, so this, Different phase. One other thing is uh, for in order to reclaim, in order to reclaim generation and, uh, and uh, move the max sequence forward, we must uh, we must have all the zones in the oldest generation and in order to uh, progress forward. So this is uh, this is the this is the point of the report. So what happens uh, that led to this problem is uh, in MGLIU, we could have a case where, for instance, we have uh, we have some pages in in let's say let's say generation four is the is the youngest generation and uh, we and generation one is the oldest generation. We could have some uh, pages in the and, and we also have a movable zone configured. So what, what it led to is, in some cases, we have, a, let's say, GFP kernel allocation. So we need to allocate a normal zone or lower. Well, how the reclaim works is it looks at the eligible zones to, to know where we should reclaim from. But because we still have some pages in the movable zone, which is you know, one index larger than the normal zone, the the when we attempt the reclaim we only look at the normal dma and the dma 32 zones and they they don't have any pages so the algorithm uh you know just bails out there is nothing to do so it doesn't make any progress and we cannot increment the old older generation forward because there are still pages in the normal zone so this actually uh led is what leads to the to the premature um kills. <clears throat> so uh, if we look back at the conventional LIU, the way this problem is solved is uh, if if we when we when we scan pages to reclaim from the tail of the inactive LIU, if we find pages that are not eligible, so they, they are in a higher higher zone than we are than the allocation request, we just simply move those to the to the head of the inactive list. So in MGLIU, we do a similar thing. Uh, we, we, when we detect this case, we move the pages from the, the higher zone to the to the next zone. Which so from zone, uh, sorry, from the older gener from the older generation to the next younger generation not zone. So. It's, uh, it's similar, if you think about it, we have four generations, so we move it from the 
the oldest generation to the next younger generation is kind of similar in a way to moving from the tail of the inactive to the head of the inactive. So it's similar solution. So that's uh, what uh, we did to solve this premature ohm chaos with MGLIU. Yeah, and uh, this, this is a link to the patch. Uh, another difference maybe in MGLIU is that when the when you have uh, access to pages from file descriptors, those uh, pages get added to the to the oldest generation, whereas the anonymous uh, uh, you know pages from from accesses from page tables get added to the youngest generation. And the idea is that we are able to reclaim this. Uh, you know, FT reference pages uh, more easily. We don't have to. We don't have to work the page tables. We don't have to update the PT issue. And the, most of these are uh, clean pages. We can just drop. However, this uh, this uh, we don't know if this uh, is a source of some issues in for some workloads that may need to lead a lot of uh, configuration files or some app launch uh, regressions may be related to this less protection in the FD access pages. So uh, there is uh, the way uh, the, the the way the reclaim works is there's a tiering in each generation. There's also tiers. And based on the number of accesses through the file descriptor, we move the pages up in power of two in the tiers. And when we do the reclaim, we compare, uh, like, we compare the uh, tier by tier from the, from one uh, type, like, let's say, unknown type was selected to be reclaimed. We compare tier by tier uh, until we find a tier in the, in the unknown type that has, uh, until we keep finding tiers in the unknown type that has a higher refault rate than the, than the lowest tier in C file type. And uh, then we then we decide uh, e either to promote the pages based on the number of accesses or, or uh, if the tier is larger than the, than the tier that we decided to reclaim. And uh, yeah, so the, this open question is, uh, should we be protecting the uh, File FD accessed pages more, and yeah, if anyone has uh, some comments on this, more protection, a little loud. More protection is always a trade off between uh, uh, performance and security, like. How, how can you, what can we do that would uh, be a good balance? What, what suggestions would you offer? Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, you are right. It's a balancing issue. Like uh, in some cases it will lead to longer, longer direct or longer reclaim latencies. In some cases it's, it helps the workload. Uh, so yeah, it's in, in prote protection in this sense, I mean, like, uh, should we, uh, protect it from reclaim. So should we keep it in their LI use longer? Oh, yeah. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, another thing that happens in Android is uh, if you have an Android device and you check how much free swap you have, it will almost always be close to zero. Mm -hmm. So uh, the, the workloads are highly using anonymous Highly, highly used of uh, anonymous page and swap, and we also do app compaction, which swaps out uh, memory to or pages to swap. So in in the reclaim parts or in the scanning parts of the reclaim algorithm, what we do is if we decide the swap is full, it simply bails out. It cannot reclaim anonymous pages. So uh, is is there uh, something better that we can do here? Uh, I don't know, but. One idea is to uh, also when we check if the swap is full and which 
we are trying to reclaim some anonymous pages, we sh should also check if this page is also already in the swap cache. So then we would update the PTs for the other entries of that pages so that we don't need to keep uh, re rescanning those. Uh, yeah, so yeah, if, any, if anyone has some idea on what we should, how we should handle the swap full case, yeah. Yeah, I have a question in regarding to the early out of memory kills. How is I mean, how is affecting the performance? How bad it is? Uh, it's it's rare, but uh, we don't want to have out of memory kills uh, because it's a last resort resort for the kernel, and uh, LMKD is should handle all the kills in Android. The user space low memory killer. This is maybe a tangent from the swapped full, but kind of related. I was curious how much um, like discardable memory is used these days, like with Ashmem, unpinned Ashmem pages. Um, and like, how, how does that balance with just being able to reclaim that just straight <laughs> from the shrinker, you know, versus uh, dealing with the... Oh, but the, the shrinker stuff is always, the shrinker is always run after KSWAPD tried to reclaim. So okay. Uh, if we have uh, you know, pages to re to uh, reclaim by shrinking, those are on top of what the uh, you know, case of the algorithm does. Mm -hmm. but, so yeah, maybe in some cases we re we reclaim more than we need to from you know, due to the slab shrinking. Okay. Uh, okay. <clears throat> okay. Uh, yeah, so the another uh, case we 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 want to look at or another balancing problem actually is how much do we overshoot the high water mark when we reclaim? Because if we op we overshoot uh, a lot, we get we get better you know, latencies, so we we don't hit direct reclaims latency a lot. But if we reclaim too little, then we we end up uh, going into reclaim and direct reclaim more often. But uh, currently, the approach we take now is when we are when we when we scan uh, the for eviction, we for the eligible zones, we we check the watermark is we abort the scan if uh, those the watermark in those zones are already above the high watermark. But uh, I think. But yeah, they can still be overshoot from the slab shrinking, like John mentioned. So yeah, uh, that's also open question. If yeah, if does anyone have any uh, questions or comments? Uh, well, if no questions, this, uh, yeah, this is all I had uh, for what I wanted to discuss about MGLI. Thank you so much. Thank you.